Wir kommen zur Pressekonferenz, liebe Medienvertreter, liebe Kollegen, zu der ich euch recht herzlich begrüßen möchte. Die Adler Mannheim verlieren das letzte Heimspiel der Hauptrunde 23. 24 gegen die Schwenninger Wild Wings mit 1 zu 4. Das Ganze vor 13.600 Zuschauern in der ausverkauften SAP Arena. Bei mir sind auch heute wieder die beiden Coaches, die ich ebenfalls recht herzlich begrüßen möchte. Zu meiner rechten Wild Wings Trainer Steve Walker und zu meiner linken Dallas Elkins Adler Trainer. Und auch heute gebührt das erste Wort dem Gast. Steve, please rest in peace. Ja, good evening, everyone. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, we don't want to come into this building and keep it simple. I thought we did a good job with the start, uh, you know, kind of managing the puck. Got a little bit of puck luck where we got a rebound off the wall that uh, we were able to find and, and get that lead. And obviously, Fafinger had a great individual effort that made a great shot and then able to make it 2 nothing. And then, uh, man, I've had a great power play as of late, uh, finding space. And we had two big kills, and Erickson made a couple of big saves in the first period to, uh, to give us that lead. And I thought we did a really good job taking away time and space in the second period. We gave one time that we were a little bit late that we gave a two-on-one. Erickson made a big save, and then obviously in the third period, we, we expected to push, you know, they were, give them all the credit in the world, they put us under pressure, I thought we did a good job defending, and, uh, you know, unfortunately with that late penalty that we took, that, uh, but overall, I mean, it was a real good game for us, uh, coming off four losses, uh, I thought we battled for 60 minutes, and, you know, right to the end, we're blocking shots, and, you know, it was a playoff kind of type game for us, and I, and I like our response from our group. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Dallas. Yeah, congrats to Steve and Schwenningen. They played a one hell of a game uh, tonight. Uh, I thought their goaltender was uh, excellent. Um, you know, I, well, I thought we had a real solid first period. Uh, we had some chances. I didn't think we gave up too much. In the second period, though, like being down 2 nothing, you got to start to press. And... Uh, we didn't press in the right ways. We we, uh, we we turned over a lot of pucks, which turned into long shifts, which turned into longer shifts uh, in our zone. Uh, when your heart rate is high and your shift length is long, uh, you can't think, and there's going to be zero offense coming. And it really frustrated us uh, in the in the second period. In the third period, I thought we got our legs back underneath us. We got a little bit more connected. Um, we had numerous chances uh, uh, again, but uh, you know their, their goaltender uh, ha had such a strong game. Their defense did a good job of clearing the rebounds away when there was a, uh, 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 a second chance. Um, but you know, big loss for us. You know, those are big points. Um, we needed more guys to be engaged. Uh, in, in that second period, just be more aware. The the thing uh, we tried to do tonight is, you know, with the guys that were turning over the puck, you know, we tried to really stick with them tonight rather than take ice time away, try to keep them going um, and, and really believe in them. So uh, I, I think it was a, a game where we learned lots of lessons. Great reminder on a, a, a number of small things that are big things in the game. Um, and we'll just get ready for our next uh, game on Sunday. Dallas, thank you very much. Das waren die Statements der beiden Cheftrainer. Gibt es an dieser Stelle Fragen aus der Medienrunde? Philipp Köhl für den Mannheimer Morgen. Bitte. Good evening, guys. Uh, hi, Dallas. Uh, question to you. Your team don't got any single penalty minute tonight. After a win, everybody will say your discipline, pretty disciplined team after lost, everyone will say you're not pissed enough to, to fight against the lost. Do you agree? The, here's the thing, is that when you win a game, there's going to be a whole lot in the game that you didn't like, but you still won. And when you lose a game, you're, you're never happy with the loss but there's a whole lot of things that you did really well. And the whole mindset of you win a game, let's have a parade, and you lose a game, and you should just be devastated and down and take a whole bunch of stupid penalties is a bad game plan. Like one of our things before the game was we can't take any penalties especially in the ozone or in the neutral zone. The only time we wanted to take a penalty was to save a goal. So that was one of our goals tonight, and we achieved it. And we, like, that's something to go, hey, 
that was something great that we did in the game. So if, uh, you know, when you're down 2 nothing or 3 nothing, if, if somebody's game plan is to go and take a whole bunch of stupid penalties and be a man down and turn it into 6 and 7 nothing, I don't know. That's not a great game plan to me. Gibt es weitere Fragen? Sven Metzger für die Rheinpfalz, bitte. Good evening. Hi, Dallas. Um, it was the last home game of the regular season. Um, apart from this game, where do you see your team at the moment on the way to the playoffs? Um, playoffs is always the time where you want to play your best hockey, is the thing. Where do you see your team on this way at the moment? Well, coming into the game, like I, I would have bet my house on that game tonight. Like coming, we, we had just played, and it goes back to your question. For me, we had just played probably the two best games of the season uh, coming into this game. And what's interesting is we lost one of them. Like we lost it, we, and we played uh, one of, uh, two of our best games of the, the season coming in. And the, the key, especially in this league, the, the, this league is amazing with the, the parity. Like it, I don't care if you're playing the last place team, the first place team, the, these games are so, so tight. And you have to be very detailed. A lot of time it's what you leave on the table, not what you make. Um, and the other thing sometimes, you need a little bit of luck. Like, it happens. You, you need some luck some nights. So, um, where do I think our team is at? I don't know. The last two games, I thought we played very, very well. Tonight, we played, a, a, I thought, a really good first and a good third. Didn't have it in the second. So, I, I think what's uh, really important is not overthink things. Uh, I'm fairly neutral-minded. Um, I'm going to take a lot of good things out of this and try to reinforce it with our players. We're going to take the things that we didn't do well and try to correct them. Um, and and you, you just get ready for your next game. Uh, that's all you can do. There's nothing else that you can do. Gibt es weitere Fragen? Nicht. Dann war es das für heute. Es stehen jetzt noch zwei Auswärtsspiele auf dem Programm am Sonntag in Bremerhaven und am Freitag den 8. März in Köln. Danach wissen wir, wie es für uns weitergeht. Steve, for you and your team, all the best. Safe travels back to Schwenningen und äh, euch allen noch einen schönen Abend. Kommt gut ins Wochenende. Bis dann.